Welcome to our lesson on small increments and approximation. This is a lesson that uses the idea of differentiation. So um, think of small increments and approximation as this. So there are two variables which are connected, okay? So when one increases or when one changes, what is the um, effect on the other variable, okay? So um, think of it, of it this way, expenditure and then income, okay? They are connected. When your income increases, you also tend to spend more, okay? So that this is how it is. So your income would increase and then the question will be, what is the increase on expenditure, okay? So that is what um, small increments and approximations are that so it wouldn't increase by a huge difference but like slight increment and then you look for the slight increment on expenditure okay so this is how it is represented mathematically and the reason why we don't use equal to is that we are approximating it okay uh, we don't know for sure um, the answer the exact value okay so we are just approximating it, all right? That's why we use this. So when X changes, all right, you'll be told to look for the slight change on the Y, okay? But what do you do? So this is what you do. For you to look for the slight change on the Y, you have to multiply your small change in the X by the differential of the function or the curve, okay? So let's take an example and see how this whole thing works out. So um, this is the question. Variables x and y are connected by the equation y is equal to um, 2x cubed minus 3x. Our job is to find the approximate change in y as x increases from 2 to 2.01 like i said earlier the change is very very small okay so from 2 to 2.01 which means it is um it has increased by what 0 0.01 all right so this is what i will urge you to do always fish the data from the question it will really help you right so from the question what do we have? We have the curve. We have the small change in x, which is called delta x, all right? Small change in x is delta x. That is the ending minus the beginning. So that small change is 0 0.01. Then we also know that x, the original x was two. And what do they want us to find? They want us to find the small change in what? In y, okay? So we know that the small change in y will be dy dx times the small change in x, where the small change in x is 0 0.01. So given the curve, let's differentiate to find our dy dx. So dy dx will give us 6x squared minus 3. All right. Now, remember that the change started from 2 to 2.01 okay so the beginning is the x value and that is 2 so at x equals 2 you know that dy dx will give you 21 right so all that we need to do is to now input um dy dx which is 21 here multiply by delta x and delta x is what 0 0.01 so that is what we do and this will give us 0 0.21 so what this means is that as x changes by 0 0.01, y will change by 0 0.21. Let's take another example. Right, so variables x and y are connected by the equation x squared y equals 400. Find in terms of p, the approximate change in y 
as x increases from 10 to 10 plus p where p is small now this part is really important p is supposed to be defined because we are talking about small change okay small change and approximation so the change must be really small right so get your facts or data from the question so from the question we know that um, there is um, s squared y equals 400 we know that x started from where from 10 and then we know that the small change in x as delta x is the 10 plus p minus 10 giving us what p so this is what we can take from the question now our job is to find what um, the small change in y that's the delta y right so um, let's set up this beautifully that is if you want to um, differentiate then it will be best for you to set up this way that is you divide through by x squared okay so you have y is equal to um, 400 over x then you differentiate so when you differentiate this you have negative 800 over 3 i'm sorry s cubed right so maybe you you may be wondering how we got this it's simple this is the same as 400 x raised to the power negative 2 so when you write y is equal to 400 x raised to the power negative 2 you would differentiate to get this okay so now we will find dy dx at 10 okay at 10 so that will give us negative 4 over 5 right so remember that the small change in y or the delta y that we are looking for is simply dy dx times the delta x now we know our dy dx is negative 4 over 5 times delta x but what is delta x that is p so times p and then our answer is negative 4 over 5p what this means is that there's a negative connection between um, your change in delta x and then that change in y okay so when x increases by p y would decrease by 4 over 5 p okay and it would decrease because of the negative sign so that establishes the connection our third example right so we have a curve which is being defined by this now we are to find in terms of p the approximate change in y as x increases from 2 to 2 plus p where p is small this question is very similar to the previous one that we saw the only difference is that now we have um, a different definition for the curve okay so we state the important things that we need we need a curve we need the x where the x started from it started from 2 so x is 2 we also need the small change in x okay all right so that will be um 2 plus p minus 2 okay and that will give us p so these are the information that we need let's work with it so we will differentiate this but please be careful this is product so we are going to use product rule right so we will keep this one and then we will differentiate this right? but when you differentiate this you get one right so one and then we said we shall keep this and that is what we have plus right now we will keep this and then differentiate that so we keep that one when you are differentiating this you would have to employ what we call chain rule idea right so you differentiate the outer bracket so that will be um four will come down here times this whole thing then you subtract one from the four so that'll be three then you go inside the bracket and then you differentiate what is inside bracket called the inner function okay so when you differentiate two x minus three you get two right so this thing looks a bit clumsy so you clean it up and now this is what you have so nice right so let's look for the gradient at x equals two right so at x equals 2 you put wherever you see x you put 2 there okay 2 there and then you simplify 
your answer is 25. So now we know our divide the x, we know the delta x, so now we can look for our delta y. Right. Delta y is defined as divide the x times your delta x, that's the small change in x. But we know this is 25 and that is p. So what should we get? So that is 25 times p giving you 25p. Right. So always um, when you are given a question, just look for your dy dx and then look for the delta x and then you'll be good to go. Now what this means is that when x increases by um, a small number called p, y would also increase by 25. Why are we saying y will also increase? Y will increase because of the sign here. The sign here is positive. Okay, so y will also increase.